The UK is home to so many different theme parks. One surrounded by a massive lake. One that's got a ride sponsored by Pepsi. One that's got this. Oh, sweet Jesus. And of course, there's a lot more than just them three. But today, I'm here to discuss the newest revelation in the theme park world that's been circling around for what feels like a decade. Is that actually, how long has it been? Oh my God, it actually has been a decade. The London Resort, which is supposed to be located in Swans, Swanscombe in Kent. The project over the years has seen many delays, such as planning permission, wildlife infringement, uh, tiny spiders being spotted on site, you know, just the usual things. But no, this video is not a history lesson. Instead, this is going to take a lot out of me to say, it's speculation time, 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 time. time. But before I begin, the channel itself is um edging closer and closer to 20,000 subscribers, which is insane. If you are new around here and enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. So why is this speculation time? I'm glad you asked, although you didn't ask. But anyway, with the London Resort not really having a mass plan of what's going to be in the resort, I thought today, why not speculate or talk about rides that I would love to see in the park? If it ever happens, of course. Feel free to leave in the comments below what you guys would like to see at the London Resort. Now, from the concepts and the previous marketing proposals, we actually kind of know what they were planning to put in the park. In the past, a triple launch roller coaster was rumoured. Um, so like Pantheon or uh, Taron. You know, because technically, if you roll back on the second launch, they have to relaunch you backwards, then launch you forwards. So technically, Taron is triple launch. But that would have been so cool to see, especially in this country. Like, can you imagine turning up to London and just seeing this huge top out of this massive launch coaster towering over the skyline? <laughs> Maybe not that big. I would genuinely love to see that, though. And obviously, with this came other speculation about smaller rides and dark rides and stuff. I can get onto that later. It's coasters for now. So along with the written proposal of what would be in the areas, um, these concept images exist as well, which they're really old outdated and probably irrelevant to the project now but they do show a wooden roller coaster in the background whether that be a gci like wicker man or dare i say an rmc this one here too seems and appears to be jeweling which does that mean we could get yet another jeweling wooden roller coaster at the London Resort. See, I never thought that I'd get to the point where I'm speculating about rides, and the only reason it can't happen is not because of money, not because it's unrealistic, but because the park's construction gets delayed every Tuesday. And with the images as well, there's an overview here, which is like a bird's eye view of the park, and you can see very small areas with coaster trap, but my god, if anyone can tell what those coaster types are, you need to be thanked because you're a very nice person. But what other coasters would be cool to see there? that aren't maybe hinted on the plans so this time it's just gonna be me rattling off rides that i think would be a good experience and great for london Res first off i have to say it a max spinning coaster like ride to happiness i think that was an obvious choice you never know if that triple launch coaster actually went ahead it could have ended up being the world's first triple launch spinning coaster can you imagine if the spinning thing goes far i would also love to see another dive coaster one that's a bit longer than 15 seconds. S sorry, 15 minutes if you count the break run. Like I said with the triple launch coaster, seeing something like that towering over London in the skyline, maybe like 200 odd foot tall, that would just entice so many different people to go and try it out. And this may be a stretch, but I'd love to see another motorbike coaster. So like Velocity at Flamingoland, but the theming would be a lot like Tron at Disneyland or some indoor kind of lighting because it just looks like a whole otherworldly experience and i want that and again it's a good marketing campaign you want to ride a motorbike on a roller coaster as for other non-coaster rides i'd love to see a couple dark rides there as well uh, which have been teased too but again there's no point in trusting that of course with it being a uk park it might be quite rare to see some flat rides but I'd love to see them anyway. And on top of that, of course, smaller rides for families and children. Although this all depends on whether it actually opens or not. I mean, it might do. Give it 60 years. Something you can in fact watch right now is me stupidly deciding to throw a dart at a map and go to the nearest theme park. I don't know why I did that.